Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you some of my Visual Studio extension for Shopify team development. I have a lot of extensions, most of them are for PHP, but here are some of them for Shopify. If I come to the extensions here, and then from the filter, you can see the installed one. I'll show you some of them which are related to, okay, that's out of date. It should be installed one. And I will show you some of them which are for Shopify. As you can see, this is a liquid file, but this is CS, this is SAS and it still it can highlight it for you. One of the most important part is to check out the files you have here. This is, as you can see, this is SAS file. If I come here to detect the language, it can detect it for me properly. But there are some Shopify related uh, extension that you have to install. First of all, this is the liquid one. Before you install, make sure you see the rating of how many people have rated for this one or is this worthy of installing or not this is good one because the rating is good and it is going to be working fine in liquid and it will auto complete um, your liquid snippet as you can see they have support for css javascript and markdown and more there are some more features for this one this is one of the extension the other one is li uh, liquid language support this one is useful for yeah auto completing some of the sh the liquid file um, liquid extent ex like uh, structures if you see if condition it is going to auto complete the end if for you and that is a lot easy for you so if i scroll down let's see if i have any other no i don't have so this is the two main one that you have to install but this is the auto close tag and sometimes it mix match some other extension with this one make sure you install the auto close one also if you don't have already which is which very popular and that's it like if you are developing shopify theme that tree extension is all you have to know there is not much you can search the one there is less shopify extensions because there is not much of development using vs code so that's it for this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next video and we will do some cool stuff in the next video we will talk about sections